Hello and welcome to Science Now, my new science channel where we go over the latest space and science news in bite-sized amounts. Today in news, James WST has a problem, sad to say. NASA just released on September 25th that the MIRI or Mirid Infrared Instrument was having issues with a wheel. But first, when did we find out about the problem? Well, back on August 24th, a mechanism that supports one of the four different observing modes, known as the Medium Resolution Spectroscopy, or MRS, showed more friction during the setup on one of its wheels than it normally has. This is a fairly important part because it allows scientists to switch between the short, medium, and long wavelengths while in MRS mode. On September 6th, after a preliminary check, an anomaly review board was convened. As of the date of this recording, no, web has not been put into safe mode, but they have paused some of the scheduled observations while they come up with strategies to resume MRS observations, hopefully as soon as possible. So the MRS works by rotating one of two wheels containing dichlorates and diffraction grating into place so it can catch the short, medium, and long wavelengths. This excess friction is not from a micrometeorite like the main camera had. As I mentioned, any observation not through MIRI are still underway, which is good news in the light of the situation. You can still use the near cam, the near infrared camera, and the three other observing modes, imaging, low res spectroscopy, and chronograph are still operating normally and remain available for science observations. Now as I did mention, it did not go into safe mode. Safe mode occurs when there is an abnormality on board the spacecraft and in Webb's case it would pause future observations, report the anomaly to mission control, and then the review board would decide if they should take action or to go back to normal observations. But as I mentioned, this isn't what happened. Now, if the wheel were to have failed completely or wouldn't listen to commands, then it would prompt a safe mode to ensure no other instruments were damaged. Now, we know it's not a micrometeorite due to how well shielded and well encased inside the integrated science instrument module and are very well protected from outside interference. As mentioned, the wheel just registered extra friction while coming into place. Well, that's it for this episode of Science Now. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and share with someone who loves to learn about space and science. And if you are subscribed and have the bell icon on, you're awesome, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you, and goodbye.